Hi, I'm Jeffrey, and this is Auto Alchemy, the intersection between typology and self-growth. What if I told you that introverted thinking and introverted feeling weren't so different after all? For more on that, stay tuned. All right, so a while back, I was speaking to somebody who is near and dear to my heart about the cognitive functions, more specifically, introverted thinking versus introverted feeling. Quick refresher, both of these functions are subjective, which might sound like a stinky word for the scientifically minded out there, but all that it really means is that they pertain to the subject as opposed to the object, meaning they're concerned with what's in here as opposed to what's out there. So where an extroverted feeler is going to prioritize the outside spectrum of values, the introverted feeler is going to be more concerned with their own private, subjective emotional experiences and value judgments. Extroverted thinking, then, is going to look at that objective spectrum of reasons, rationale, goal-oriented systems, things that make sense and work in a consensus kind of fashion. Meanwhile, introverted thinking, in large part, brushes aside those considerations and asks, does this make sense to me? And answering that question will often involve a convoluted process of checking one belief against another and looking for logical consistency and for contradictions. Okay, so there's a refresher. Now, introverted feeling has always seemed really alien to me, which only makes sense because as an ENTP, introverted feeling is my blind spot or trickster function, according to some models. And what that means is that I'm either completely disregarding my emotional experience or I am being deceived by it. Now, I've seen a trickster function described as one of those funhouse mirrors that completely warps your perception. And that definitely checks out with my lived experience, but that's a topic for a whole other video. So introverted feeling feels foreign to me, but what's weird is that it's the role function of the INTP. According to Leon from Type Tips, the role function is something that we can put on and wear like a mask. The fact that my INTP cousins can dabble in introverted feeling has always suggested to me that there's got to be a way for me to find my way in, to validate that function on the basis of my own internal wiring. And it makes the most sense to compare introverted feeling with my introverted thinking. As I mentioned before, both functions are subjective and they are both what Jung called rational functions. And I know that there are a lot of thinkers out there who are like, hey, how can feeling be rational? That doesn't make any sense. But when Jung calls something a rational function, he's contrasting it with something like intuition which operates not irrationally, but beyond reason. There is no reason to it. It just happens to you spontaneously. Same with sensation. Conversely, thinking and feeling both operate in this hierarchical way. So you have feelings nested within other feelings and values and thoughts and reasons nested within each other. That's why they're rational functions. Kind of reminded of my ESTJ manager back when I worked in retail, he would look at all the different pieces of the store's machinery, the way that it functioned, and be like, that works, that works, that works, so it must be right. Everything was judged according to how it functioned in this objective external sense. Whereas for me, at least from my autopilot, unthinking perspective, I might see it as kind of lazy to think that just because it works, it makes sense, or that it's right. It's not enough for something to get the job done. I usually want to know why something works as deeply as possible, because if you can understand the ins and outs of something, then you might be able to find an even better way to make it work. You might be able to innovate. You might be able to explode out of whatever box you're in. Once again, this is just my default way of seeing the world. I don't think that it's necessarily right. I just think that it's natural to come into the world with your own biases. And as I get older, I am coming to appreciate the, the positive aspects of extroverted thinking. My whole point here is that introverted thinking is made on the basis of an internal hierarchy of beliefs and how truthful those particular beliefs might be, how they all interact with one another and what their probabilities might be and how those probabilities affect the probabilities of other things being true and how all of this stuff just cascades and impacts each other. It's about achieving a certain depth and accuracy that you can't get if you're only operating in a very broad, objective sense. 
Which brings me back to my conversation with my friend who is an INFP. She was commenting that introverted feeling is just as concerned as accuracy as introverted thinking is. I was like, what the f are you talking about? But as she described it, I started to see her point. There are definite parallels to be made there. If you're an introverted feeler, then you might see the extroverted version of your function as being lazy just like I did. You might see it as taking a shortcut or outsourcing ethics and values and what matters to the crowd and ending up with a low resolution version of it. You might think that extroverted feeling doesn't go deep enough and therefore it misses a lot of nuance that you could find if you were looking for it. Now that is something that I can relate to and it shows me just how wrong I had been about introverted feeling for years. When I first heard about personality theory, my automatic instant stereotype of introverted feeling was this bad, this good. Also, the talk of FI accuracy resonated for me at another level too. I've been working on a novel for a few years and the protagonist is actually an INFP. I wanted her to be an INFP because I wanted to have a safe, fictional way to explore this shadowy side of myself that I don't really get to look at. I've been looking at that book again lately and, and what I've realized is that that notion of introverted feeling accuracy actually fits one of the main metaphors of my book. I talk about how the main character feels as if she has all of these different wind chimes hanging inside her chest and each one has its own note, its own emotional color. And anytime she inhales and takes in the world, the air hits those wind chimes in a different way. For the introverted feeler, I'm thinking that each moment is emotionally unique. Everything is complicated and nuanced and shaded. Those chimes never sing the same song twice. So in this metaphor, an extroverted feeler might have a particular melody that always plays every time they feel happy. But for the introverted feeler, things are always going to be more complicated than that. Each set of notes are going to be the accurate notes for that particular moment. So that's all I've got. Hopefully that helps somebody out there make more sense of introverted feeling. Maybe I'm completely off base here and some introverted feelers will want to chime in. That's totally fine with me as well. As always, I appreciate the support. Thank you so much for liking, commenting, and subscribing. I'll catch you guys next time.